Hi, today we're here at Big Toys Green Country and we're going to do the control box swap on the 36 volt Monster ATV. We're going to start by cutting the zip ties underneath the unit to free the control box up and free up the wires. Now that we've cut the zip ties that were holding the wires in place, we're going to remove the seat and expose the control box. The control box is held in place by one bolt. The bolt is a 4mm Allen head with an 8mm nut on the back side. Once you remove the singular bolt that's holding the control box in place, the control box will freely fall and you can move it out to the side to easily access those wires. Just like that. Once you have the control box accessible, we want you to locate the battery wire first and disconnect that wire. Once you disconnect the battery wire, you're going to take your new control box and swap the wires one at a time, making sure that you don't cross or mix any connectors. To do this, it's easiest to start with one connector and match it to the corresponding connector from the old control box. This connector is a red connector with a black, brown, and gray wire. It plugs into this connector coming from the unit. Repeat this step until you've switched out all of the following connectors. Now we're going to swap the three wires that actually control the brushless motor on this unit. To do so, you will have to remove both Phillips screws with a Phillips screwdriver, and the bolts on the inside are actually an 8mm nut. You will notice that all the colored wires do correspond with each other. When reconnecting, make sure that green is to green, yellow to yellow, and blue to blue. We are going to reinstall the singular bolt that holds the control box into place. Now you want to re-zip tie the wires with any zip ties you can purchase at your local hardware store. Um, it is recommended to do this before use so you prevent ripping any of the newly swapped wires out of place. Now you reinstall the seat and the control box swap is completed. <laughs> 